guys and welcome to my channel and today's topic is uh, uh, puriporal infections uh, but before starting i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and the link for the website is just below this video in the description area uh, once you click that link it will take you to the website now i come to the topic what is uh, uh, puriporal infections and in this topic i'm going to discuss about the introduction causes risk factors symptoms diagnosis treatment uh, and uh, prevention and outlook you know now i start with the introduction you know so what what are the uh, uh, puriporal infections well uh, these infections occur when the bacteria infect the uterus and the surrounding areas after a woman gives birth and it is also known as a postpartum infection now it uh, it's estimated about 10% of uh, the pregnancy related deaths in the united states and it's much higher in rest of the world and the mortality rates are uh, thought to be higher in the areas that uh, look uh, there with, with there's a lack of proper uh, sanitation and uh, there are several types of the postpartum infections uh, which include uh, endometritis uh, myometritis and uh, parametritis so endometritis infections are uh, the infections of the uterine lining while the myometritis the infections of the uterine muscles and the parametritis are the infections of the areas around the uterus uh, the next thing is about the symptoms what are the symptoms of uh, these infections well the symptoms and the signs may include fever, it may, which is a sign of infection, and pain in the lower abdomen or the pelvic, which is caused by the swollen uterus. Uh, foul smell from the vaginal discharge, uh, pale skin, which can be a sign of large volume of blood loss, uh, and the chills, and the feeling of discomfort or feeling of illness and fatigue, and headache, loss of appetite, and the increased heart rate. Uh, so these are the common signs and the symptoms of the uh, uh, peripheral uh, infections. Uh, the symptoms uh, may take several days to appear, and sometimes the infections may not be noticeable until after you have left the hospital. So it's important to look for the signs of an infection even after you have been discharged and uh, you are uh, uh, in your home. You know. Uh, the next thing is about what are the causes of this type of infection. Well, the postpartum infections are less common. Uh, since the introduction of uh, antiseptics and the penicillin uh, but the skin flora such as uh, uh, streptococcus or the streptococcus uh, uh, streptococcus you know streptococcus you know and uh, other bacteria uh, still cause infections and uh, these thrive in moist and the warm environments so the postpartum infections often start in the uterus after delivery and the, the uterus can become infected if the amniotic sac becomes infected so the amniotic sac uh, the membranes that uh, uh, that contain the fetus uh, now the next thing is about uh, uh, the risk factors you know your risk factor or your risk of developing this condition or this infection after your you deliver the baby is uh, different depending on uh, the method used to deliver your baby and your chance of contracting the infection is 1 to 3 percent in uh, case of the normal vaginal deliveries 5 to 50 percent uh, in the scheduled cesarean <coughs> section deliveries and 15 to 20 percent in non-scheduled cesarean deliveries performed after labor begins so there are additional factors that may make the woman uh, like uh, more at risk for the development of these infections and they may include uh, anemia they mean obesity uh, bacterial vaginosis uh, multiple vaginal exams during the labor and uh, monitoring the fetus internally and maybe prolonged labor or uh, delay between the amniotic sac rupture and the delivery and uh, colonization of the vaginal tract with the group b streptococcus bacteria uh, having remains of the placenta in the uterus after delivery and excessive bleeding after the delivery uh, young age and uh, low socioeconomic groups so these are the factors which can uh, contribute to, to the development of the infections uh, postpartum infections uh, the next thing is how do doctors diagnose uh, these infections well 
The postpartum infections can be diagnosed by your doctor through a physical examination and your doctor may take a urine or maybe blood sample to test uh, for the presence of bacteria or maybe the cotton swab to uh, take a culture of your uterus. So then it will be sent to the lab to see under the microscope for the presence of bacteria or infection, you know. Uh, the next thing is about uh, the complications. You know, the complications are rare, uh, but they can develop if the infection is not diagnosed and treated quickly. And uh, the possible complications include uh, abscesses or uh, peritonitis or the pelvic thrombophilibitis, uh, which means uh, uh, blood clots in the pelvic uh, area, the pelvic veins, and the pulmonary embolism. Uh, which is a serious complication and it's a condition in which the blood clot blocks the artery in the lungs or uh, maybe the sepsis which is again an emergency or maybe the septic shock but it is rare uh, the next thing is about the treatment options once diagnosed well the postpartum infections are most commonly treated with the oral antibiotics and uh, uh, you will be prescribed with the like uh, uh, clindamycin or maybe gentamycin and these antibiotics will uh, be tailored to the type of the bacteria your doctor suspects uh, which are causing the infections and which will be detected by the culture uh, you know the you know uh, purple sepsis is a potential complication of the postpartum infections and uh, it is uh, one of the leading causes of the postpartum mortality in the world. So the, these infections can cause poor health and the slow recovery from the delivery, uh, delivering your baby. So your likelihood of contracting an infection can be lowered by taking the steps to make sure that your delivery is uh, uh, like uh, 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 sanitary you know and uh, if you do contact infection uh, it's likely that uh, with early medical attention uh, you will be cured uh, there are certain ways that uh, you can uh, uh, prevent this uh, you know unsanitary conditions can cause the infections so the postpartum infections occur more often in the places with the unhygienic practices and the poor quality of healthcare and the lack of the awareness amongst the healthcare providers and the insufficient sanitation and uh, it can lead to the higher rates of the infection. So the proper sanitation can significantly decrease the risk of uh, getting this infection.